What Donald Trump wants to say is that the economy is shattered because of the coronavirus. That, of course, is not true. And there are other places around the world where it's not true. The economy is shattered because of Donald Trump's ineptitude and incompetence in responding to the coronavirus. That's why we're going to have 30 percent unemployment. That's why the fabric of America is going to be strained and broken in the ways that or that it's going to be in the in the months ahead. I, I do disagree a little bit with Donna. I think it is essential for Democrats to make the argument every day about his manifest unfitness for the office and also to talk about how they will unify the country and what will the plan be for recovery, which will take many, many years from one of the most epic events in American history. But Donald Trump is so manifestly unfit for this office that in the end, the consequence of it will be one of the worst crises facing the country in our 200, almost 50 year history. His extraordinary mismanagement of this situation has to be called out every day. What was true about the last election was this, the person who the election was about was losing all through the election. And for most of the election, it was about Donald Trump until the last week when it became about Hillary Clinton. And then Donald Trump narrowly won an electoral college victory. Nobody should underestimate the power of his propaganda networks, his enormous cash advantage. He should be taken seriously as a political competitor. The stakes are enormously high. And we should not BS each other about the profound, profound tragedy that has been wrought to this country because we have had a reality show star who is unfit mentally, morally, and intellectually to sit behind the Resolute desk as the American commander-in-chief and head of state.